I'm out at our Harrison Street property. A few weeks ago, some dedicated and generous volunteers planted a bunch of seed. Today, the grass is well, and it's a 23-acre field of grass growing in the rich Nebraska soil. In the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, Jesus tells a story about a farmer who goes out to plant seed. The Bible says, again, Jesus began to teach by the lake. The crowd that gathered around him was so large that he got into a boat and sat on it on the lake, while all the people were on the shore gathered at the water's edge. He taught them many things by parables, and in his teaching he said, listen, a farmer went out to plant his seed. Now that is who we are as a church. We gather at the water's edge to listen to and learn about the teachings of Jesus. Then, as changing and transforming people, we go into the community and plant seeds of hope, seeds of grace, and seeds of love. Seeds were planted a few weeks ago in worship when 23 third grade students received their Bibles. You know, every Wednesday uh, evening, 100 seeds are planted with middle and high school students who learn, connect, worship, and grow and serve together. Last Sunday, a big seed was planted. Your faithfulness and your commitment to God gave Chaplain Dale Carter of Release Ministries a $2,500 gift. Your generation is truly an inspiration to me and to so many others. A week from Sunday, we're going to be planting a lot of seeds when we attempt to raise $10,000 for our upcoming trip to Uganda. This offering will literally save lives as we're going to purchase uh, mosquito nets and critical medicine. And this Sunday, we're going to conclude our series, God's at War. We're going to look at and dream about and pray about what it is going to look like in our lives as we remove any remaining idols in our lives and restore God to His primary place in our lives. On Sunday mornings, we worship at Millard West High School at 9 o'clock and 10.30. And I invite you to try out our new worship experience at Palisades Elementary School at 6 o'clock. It's an interactive, unique worship experience that will both challenge and comfort you. And this week, I challenge you to go plant some seeds of hope, some seeds of grace, and some seeds of love in somebody's life. And I look forward to seeing you on Sunday.